Venus is our next door neighbour in space. It's slightly further in towards the sun than we are. Holst gave it the name, the bringer of peace. Good heavens, no. It is the planet out of hell. It's virtually the Earth's twin in size. It looks beautiful when you look in the sky and oh, it's just dazzling. It's the brightest object after the sun and moon. We call it the evening star when we see it at night, the morning star in the morning. It shines like a lantern. It is so bright it can cast a shadow. That's because it's wreathed in an atmosphere which is absolutely rich in carbon dioxide. And that's probably a result of having had active volcanoes in the past, probably presently as well. It's a horrible, horrible place. It is so disgusting that several Russian space probes tried to land on the planet and they got crushed because the atmospheric pressure was so large, rather like at the bottom of the oceans. The other thing that happens to Venus, if you've got these volcanoes, it's put sulfuric acid into the high levels of the clouds. The carbon dioxide that's also been generated by the volcanoes has caused a runaway greenhouse effect. And so this planet is so hot on its surface, it's like being literally inside your oven. So if you went to Venus, you would be crushed by the high pressures, you'd be corroded by the acid, you would be literally roasted by the atmosphere, by the atmosphere's heat. And uh, basically you'd be poisoned by the gas. So basically Venus is not the place to go to for your holidays. When Host described Venus as the bringer of peace, he described what the astrologers, not the astronomers, looked at the planet. So it has some characteristics derived from Stravinsky of oscillating chords, the use of celesta, the use of a kind of tender music. The imagined character of Venus is not the physical character, but the imagined astrological character, which permeates this much softer, more seductive music. <laughs> 